So guys, today I'm shopping in Trader Joe's and um, I'm just picking up a few vegetables that I ran out of in the house. I didn't plan to come here, but I was just driving past and I decided to do some shopping in here. I was on my way to Aldi's, but I went down the road to get some gas. Sure enough, the gas station um, was packed and not only that, the price was not good. I'm not buying any gas for $4.89. Right on the corner of Peninsula Boulevard and um, Mill Road. So I changed my mind and decided to go to Trader Joe's. I haven't been here in a while. So I decided that I'm gonna pick up a few things that I normally would pick up in Trader Joe's. So today so far I've picked up colored cauliflower. Never seen it before. It has yellow and green and the regular color in it. And then I got me some, ooh, stuck in the cart. I got me some gooseberries, some golden berries, they call it gooseberries. Um, what we used to call gooseberries in Jamaica is totally different. But anyway, let me proceed um, to get me some more veggies. chopped salad. I don't like buying these chopped salad guys but this one looks very good because of course you know I'm gonna rewash it but I like the fact that it had the dry corn it had some cornbread croutons crumbles and some kind of cheese in it not sure um, it looks pretty good so I'm just gonna get this today so guys who said Trader Joe's is expensive I'm looking at some eggs right here um, it's a dollar ninety nine per dozen, and it says Saunders eggs, no hormones, no antibiotics. So I'm gonna get these. And even the Trader Joe brands, guys, it's three forty nine. So the egg prices are not so bad in here, and they have the cage free ones for two ninety nine. So the price is not so bad after all. Guys, I'm gonna get me some teeny tiny avocados for $2.99. Uh, these are the Trader Joe brands. They're pretty green, but I know they will last for the week. I could throw, let me get a good one. One in Twine's lunch bag. You know, he normally takes one of them with his lunch to work. And I guess he shares it. So guys, I'm at the ice cream section and um, I'm gonna buy my favorite cone. It's called Hold the Cone. I normally get the, um, the strawberry filled ones, but I guess those are seasonal. They normally come out around about Thanksgiving time. So I'm just gonna get the vanilla one. Twine likes vanilla stuff. Very plain ice cream eater. Doesn't like flavors like me. I don't really like the chocolate chip in this brand or the chocolate, but I like the vanilla and the strawberry, of course. They have another one over here which is, says it's vegan, mini coconut, non-dairy frozen. Didn't try that yet, but one day I will. So guys, I'm over by the poultry section and um, I'm looking at some sockeye salmon. It says previously frozen wild caught. That's what I'm looking for. Wild. Certainly not gonna be buying the farmery stuff. Nope, not in my book. So I'm getting the nice, pretty pink Alaskan sockeye salmon. I might use it on Celie's Kitchen tomorrow morning live, not sure yet. Uh, this one is good for barbecue, pan fried, or broil, for broiling, and it's wild caught. Price not bad, $13.99. There are two pieces inside, which is not so bad. So I'm gonna be grabbing that. And um, no meat for me. We don't eat meat. Um, they normally sell the, um, the veil tails. I don't see any of those. Twine kinda like those, even though we're trying to cut away from red meat. But if I see like the veil tails, it's minimally processed. It's 
more on the organic side. It's not very high in cholesterol. He likes those, but I just didn't see any today. Okay guys, so I'm looking at some heirloom chicken thighs. Heirloom? Really? Let's see the price. $6.50 for a little pack. Raised, no added hormones, rack of lamb. This looks pretty good. $21. Uh, twine like these things, you know. He, he's not fully cut away from all the red meat. Uh, I might get it for him. Which I added to the cart. He likes the lamb rack. And the fact that it's farmer is not, you know, not processed with any kind of chemicals and stuff yeah I'm gonna get it for him all right going down the line I'm not gonna be buying much in here guys I'm looking for my carrot juice that I normally get in here and pineapple juice only two places I purchased my pineapple juice and my carrot juice and over to the section my favorite section okay guys so I'm getting favorite coconut water guys it's organic coconut water yep very good so I'm just gonna get two bottles of these for the car they have the big bottle of green juice and um, the cold pressed green juice I'm gonna get the small one because what I do I take juice shots in the mornings so I'll take like Two ounces of this and this will last me for the week next week because this is very potent and this has kale leaves spinach apple cucumber celery stalk lemon and two inches of ginger they measure the ginger oh wow these people all right so I'm gonna get my favorite carrot juice all natural carrot and to all my friends who have given this carrot juice so they can testify to this carrot juice how good it is. So guys, I'm about to pick up some tangerine juice. I'm loving this tangerine juice. It's very natural. It's 100% juice. And it's so, so good. Twine loves this. And as you can see, guys, it says 100%. And it's indeed 100%. Any sugars that you see on it is the natural sugar from the... And of course, guys, you know, I have to get my pineapple juice. Um, it's 100% juice, not from concentrate. Excellent source of vitamin C. And I normally get this in Aldi's. And as you can see, it has no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Yes, and it contains pineapple juice from Costa Rica. So guys, I normally get this sour cream spinach dip. Or sometimes I might get the spinach, kale, and Greek yogurt dip too. They're both pretty good. Um, but I prefer this one because it has less fat. It has 75% less fat. And guys, when we are watching our movies on a Sunday evening, I normally get some salt-free chips, warm this up in a bowl, and we do our dip, twine and I. And this is usually pretty, pretty, pretty good. So we look forward to Sunday evenings. It has a lot of sodium though, but um, I don't eat much of it. But yeah, this is our favorite Sunday evening treat and I'm gonna get that. I've been meaning to try the artichoke and the jalapeno one. Let me see, I might just drink. Let's see how much sodium is in this one. Um, did it say the sodium, it has 60 calories. The sodium is actually 10 less, but I'm not sure if Twine will like the jalapenos in it. Alright, you know what? Let me put that back. So guys, I'm over to the snack area. So you can't come to Trader Joe's and not buy a sour cream and onion corn pops. This is Twine's favorite. Yeah. I got introduced to this some years ago and I'm hooked. But I don't eat much of it because I tend to watch my sodium intake from these snacks. Yep. So let's go over to the corn section, guys. And I don't think I really need corn. 
think I have some corn in the refrigerator that I didn't even touch as of yet. So, let me get to my plantain chips. Now guys, these plantain chips are so good. And you know what I like about it? It only has 40 milligrams of sodium. And it's pretty cheap, it's only $1.99. It's a good size pack. It has no sugar, it has zero fat, and it's very, very healthy. Yep. So I'm gonna get this. All right, so that's all for snacks right now. We're going down the aisle. I'm over to the section where the sauces are. I'm looking at some organic barbecue sauce, two eighty-nine. Mm. Nineteen ounces, not bad for the price. I think I'm gonna get a bottle. Never tried it before. Um, price is not bad, so I'm gonna get it. And they have some sriracha, garlic barbecue sauce over here too. Roasted garlic. Uh, I think I have sriracha seasoning, so I don't think that will be necessary. All right, so I'm going down the aisle. I'm sorry, sir. And we're looking at some chicken broth over here. I don't think I'm getting that. I'm definitely going to get some whole wheat spaghetti. Yeah, some organic whole wheat spaghetti. 149 not bad in price. There's also some brown rice quinoa spaghetti. Don't think I'm gonna get that one. Um, what's this one right here? Red lentil sardinini. Looks more like a penny, and they said it's gluten free. Maybe I could try that one. Guys, let's go down this aisle and let's see what we can find. All frozen Chinese stuff, Chinese dumplings, Mandarin chicken. All these are processed stuff, which I don't think I want to eat. Sweet chili sauce over there. I think I have chili sauce at home already. Don't need that. Thai sweet ginger sauce. Good for grilled shrimp. Two forty nine. Not bad. Let's see the sodium in it. Oh gosh, guys, it's 480 milligrams of sodium. That will give you a stroke. Grated Parmesan cheese. All right, let me get out of here. My favorite ginger cookie over there, but because I'm on a weight loss, I think that has too much sugar in it. Let's double check the sugar. 10 grams, not bad, but I don't think I'm gonna have this. These used to be pretty good with tea at night. <sighs> Impossible burger, no. I'm looking for my shark burgers. I haven't seen those in a while. Turkey burgers. I haven't seen my shrimp burger in a while. Salmon burger. Oh yeah, here it is guys, the shrimp burgers. These are so pretty good. Last time I made them, Twine licked his fingers. Okay guys, so I did put back the spinach and artichoke dip around the corner, but I found a smaller container and it doesn't have that much sodium in it and the cholesterol is only 10 milligrams. I think I can work with this for our Sunday evening movie night. And um, I already have chips in the house, so I'm just gonna get this. Could enjoy our movie. So sometimes guys, you know, we talk about Trader Joe's being expensive. Um, I find that some things are reasonable and not only reasonable but you get the organic stuff in here too. Less salt, less sodium, you know, less preservatives, which is good for the money. So sometimes you know you get what you pay for. So if you want to shop when they have a sale yeah you get the deal all right so i'm going to check out right now let's go to 
to the checkout. Checkout line getting shorter. So guys, I'm about to go to the checkouts. Yeah, I'm at the checkout now. So they're checking out my stuff. I have a bag right here. I forgot oh, to tell perfect. you. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. Do you want me to put everything in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. My bad. I was busy, busy videoing. <laughs> I was just making a little vlog for my shopping. You make vlogs? Yes, I'm on YouTube. Have you been here before and did that? This is my first time at this oh, location. Really? But I've been to. Oh really? Um, did that and well, I was told about it. I oh it. okay. Oh, they were they had you on video. Yeah, they were recording. Oh, because I didn't want to put you on if you don't, oh, you know. Okay. Okay. So she wants to be on video, guys. So she's checking me out. She don't mind being on YouTube. Do you like this YouTube? I mean, this oh yes. I cook on YouTube. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Follow me. See me yeah, kitchen. So you gotta see yourself because I'm gonna edit this today. Oh, Yes. Okay, guys. So my total came to fifty-two, over fifty-two dollars, and that's not so bad today. So see you. Huh? Oh, it's C E E S Kitchen. It's C E E L E E apostrophe S Kitchen. So C E E S Kitchen. So look out, you're gonna be on video. Okay. Yes. So guys, I'm getting out the store. I had a nice cashier. She was very happy. I'm getting out of here. You know, people who visit buy flowers for Mother's Day. Beautiful flowers over there. They have some beautiful ones outside too. So sorry, my mama is not here in America. So. I will just probably order flowers for her online and have it delivered to the house. Yep. So guys, I'm getting to my car. They have beautiful flowers over here as well. Long line of traffic to get out of this busy parking lot. So I'm going to my car right now. And guys, it was a pleasure shopping over this side today and this is in the town of Hewlett and Long Island. Guys, I'm putting this on the back of my car. Alright, let me get the bag in. So guys, it was a pleasure today shopping in Trader Joe's. I met a very pleasant cashier. I didn't spend that much. I spent over $52. I got quite a few items, which I really needed. And now I'm gonna go get some gas. Then I'm gonna head over to Aldi supermarket. And then I'm gonna head home. So guys, I'm approaching Aldi supermarket parking lot in Green Acres Mall. So I'm going in there just to pick up a few items. I think I just passed a parking space. I'm just gonna go around the block just to see if I find one. So guys, I'm now in Aldi's. They not, you know, they seem not to have much in here because I get apparently everybody came early and shopped. So I'm just gonna get a few items. Grab me some broccoli. Um, I need scallions. They're out of those. Wow, maybe I need to go to the one in Gateway. I'm surprised. I wanted to come earlier this morning. So I'm going to grab some organic mandarins. They're like three eighty nine dollars a bag. Um, I already have blueberries, 
gonna grab me some baby carrots. It's only $1.49 and it's organic for $1.49. So I'm getting good deals even though they don't have a lot in here. Um, because the summer is coming, I don't like to buy a lot of bananas to ripe. So I'm gonna get me a bunch of these, six on the bunch. If it's finished before the week is out, then I will grab another bunch sometime in the midweek. Of course, guys, I'm getting some fresh garlic too. I'm out of that. I like to buy my tomatoes on the stem. I find that they're much fresher and they're firm. So I'm getting some cherry tomatoes on the vine. Those are $1.95. It's a little cheaper than the grape ones in the containers. Those are $1.99, so I'm saving five cents. Can you believe it, guys? I'm shopping very economical. Okay. I do have apples at home. I'm not gonna get some apples in here because I do have some on the table. Oh, uh, wow. Twine likes the yellow ones. They only have the green. Kiwis. He doesn't really like the fuzzy green ones. He likes the ones with the yellow on the inside. So I'm going to pass on that. Ah, uh, these mangoes don't look so good. I'm going to go to Brooklyn in my old neighborhood and get some good Dominican mangoes or some Haitian mangoes. Those mangoes are sweet. So guys, I'm going down the aisle not getting much in here because I have a lot of stuff in the house I might get a can or two of tuna I already have quinoa I already have coconut milk um, so I'm just gonna get me two cans of tuna and these cans of tuna is very very cheap chunk light in tuna chunk like tuna in water so i'm gonna get two of these these are 79 cents each so not spending a lot in all these i already have canned peas i don't need anything else in this aisle i already have a lot of cheese I'm just gonna grab some milk i already grabbed eggs and trader joe's so guys, they are out of juices. I don't know what's going on. No pineapple juice. Um, I see they have vanilla almond milk. I'm gonna get the 60 calories one because it has less sugar, I think. 30, it's even less. Okay, there's one with 30 calories. I'm gonna get that one. And that's 225. Standing in the checkout line in Aldi's. I only got a few items, as you can see. Um, for some reason, the supermarket is empty today. Maybe people came and shopped early and took all the stuff that I needed, but that's okay. Um, I will catch up later at another supermarket or maybe a farmer's market. So, yep, about to check out. So guys, now I'm at the checkout at Aldi's. Let's see how much I spent. So, so far I spent less than $100 on groceries.